Hi guys, um, I'm Steve Griffiths and I'm from the student newspaper, Goose, and um, they asked me to film a day in the life of the average management student with Mr Richard Pynchon. Um, we're outside Richard's garage at the moment. Uh, Steve, it's not a garage, we've already looks clarified like, that. Looks like a garage. You, it's not a barnyard. Right, this you, Have you seen a bar... But maybe outside. it does, but we can't say that. Yeah, we just want yeah no, but you do, just hurry up because he's inside waiting for us. Okay, so yeah, but don't say antenna on box or barnyard okay, or caravan like or a garage. Lot, it? A it loft. Isn't it? It's not a loft. No, might as well be a loft. But well, what are we, we going to call it? If we can't call it any of them, we can't call it house, really. Okay. Well, what are we going to call it? Okay, when you're ready. <clears throat> oh, ready. We're ready. We're rolling. Look, it's it's not it's not a garage. Just use something else. All right, okay, we're going. Right. Are, are you sure it's not a garage? It it's like a garage. not a garage. It's not. It's his house. Okay. You can't say shed. It's not a shed. Well, it's not a garage. It's a fucking shed, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not a garage or a shed. You use an appropriate word, not just shed. It's not a shed, he, live, he lives in there. You said it was that one, is it that one? Right, no, it's not, it's not the one on the left. Right, it's that one behind you, but it's not a shed and it's not a garage. Okay, go. Okay. Right, it's that one, isn't it? Yeah, yes. It's okay, so we're outside the um, fully furnished one bedroom apartment of Mr. Richard Pynchon. I mean, it's not, look. Look, that was fine, why did you have to... That was okay, that was... That it's not a fucking apartment, is it? But well, we don't know what it is, do we? Are you sure they're not just squatters living there? Does he even live there? Isn't that their garage? Look, we've said it's not a garage already. Okay. Okay, so if you'd like to follow me through to uh, Mr. Richard Pinching's garage. We've said it's not fucking garage. Hello? Rich, it's Steve from Goose. Um, you agreed to the interview. Um, John, should we come in? Okay, all right. Oh. Sorry about that, Rich. Don't know if you were busy or not. Um, where are you, Rich? Um, should we come through? Okay, all right. Are you decent? Always decent. Okay, alright. Oh, God. Oh. Alright, mate. Um, you agreed to do an interview with us? Yeah. Are you sure? Do you want to start now? Um, well, it's up to you, really. You can wait until you're finished. No, it could be a while. Should we, should we give you a minute? If you want. Uh, what do you want to do? We'll, uh, we'll wait till you're done. Alright mate, um, I'll give you a minute if you want. Okay. Cool. Okay. Sam? Um, it's Steve. Oh, whatever mate. Uh, is there any toilet roll out there mate? <sighs> yeah? Yeah, sure. Um, I'll have a look. Um, I can't find any, any toilet roll, Rich. No toilet roll? Uh, uh, any books out there mate? A what? Book? Okay. Um, Speed it up, mate. Sorry. Um, yeah. Well, I found a book, but I, I, I'm not sure what you're going to use it for. Yeah, just chuck it in there, mate. It looks quite important, Rich. Chuck it in there, mate. It looks like. It's just a book. It looks like you call a textbook, Rich. Yeah, mate. Textbook, textbook. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Mate. What what are you going to use that for? Yeah, what the fuck do you think, mate? Right, sorry, mate. We couldn't do the interview at my house. Yeah, that's fine. That's not a problem. That's all right. Um, what we noticed when you were there was that you were living with uh, living with a girl. Is that your girlfriend? Uh, he's my girlfriend, mate. Must like one or two years, I guess. Yeah, one of one of one of either. Yeah. Um, how how did you meet her? When did you meet her? Um, 
Where are we? We're in. Yeah. Um, Tom Birch method. The Tom, but you met through the Tom Birch method. It's foolproof. It's yeah. Foolproof. Yeah. Right. Okay. The rush, do it. Okay. Um, that. I can't help but notice, Rich, that those crisps, crisps were already there when we got here. Are you not? Are you not bothered about hygiene or anything? Or they could be dirty. You know, the kids in Africa. They don't get food, man. Uh, okay. Be happy with I what you've got. I suppose if. Put in that contact.